With the use of modal verbs, you can normally change the meaning of a sentence. There's a difference if you want to say that someone can do something or someone has to do something or someone wants to do something. So in English, we would call those verbs modal verbs and in German modalverben. So what are modal verbs? Let's go over them in English first. When do you use modal verbs? There are different situations where you would use a modal verb. You can ask for permission. So for example, the modal verb may, may I use the bathroom? Or if you want to express that something is possible or impossible, I might get a good grade on that assignment, or I can't do this, it's too difficult. You can show a skill or ability to do something. For example, I can swim 10 lanes in a row and I'm only seven. You can make a request. Could I go with you, please? You can make an offer. Would you want to go with me to the park? You can express that something seems certain. Oh, it must be her son. He looks like her. Or if you want to talk about an obligation. I must do this. I should do this. Generally, we have six modal verbs in the German language, even though some people also count the verb möchten as a modal verb. Uh, möchten means would like to. But let's look at the ones that everyone agrees to. The first one is müssen. Müssen could be translated as must or have to. So it's an obligation. Wir müssen um 21 Uhr ins Bett. We have to go to bed at 2100. Sollen can be translated with should. Wir sollen unsere Hausaufgaben machen. We should do our homework. Wollen means want. Ich will das nicht wissen. I don't want to know that. Können means can. So that's uh, where we have our ability or skill that we want to express. Ich kann schon Fahrrad fahren. I can already ride my bike. Dürfen which means may, so asking for permission. Darf ich ein Eis essen? May I eat an ice cream? Or mögen, like to. Ich mag auch ein Eis essen. I like to eat an ice cream as well. The modal verbs are irregular verbs. So you will see that they are not conjugated the same way as regular verbs. So for example, I picked können and müssen. Können means can, müssen means have to or must. If you look at the first one, können, conjugated is ich kann, du kannst, er kann, wir können, ihr könnt. See können. So you know the infinitive is können, just like here, the first and third person plural, wir können, sie können. But when you look at the singular person, ich kann, du kannst, er kann, I do have an A vowel instead of an Ö umlaut. And the second example that I picked, müssen, which basically means the same as in wir müssen, sie müssen. You have in the infinitive form or in the plural forms, you do have an umlaut, ü. But in the singular forms, you do have the vowel, u. So those are a few things you have to memorize. The recommendation I can give you is learn all the modal verbs and learn how to conjugate them. Usually the modal verb comes in combination with another verb, the infinitive form of a verb in German called Vollverb. So when we look at the first example sentence here, du sollst die Hausaufgaben machen, you should do the homework. We have sollst, which is conjugated, it's uh, from uh, sollen, and we have machen, which is not conjugated, it's just the infinitive form. So I have sollst and machen in combination. And this modal verb sollst basically modifies my 
infinitive form of the verb that's following. Because there is a difference if I say du sollst die Hausaufgaben machen or du darfst die Hausaufgaben machen. You should do the homework or you're permitted to do the homework. So when I use that modal verb and another verb, then only the modal verb is conjugated. For example, next one, ich kann dir helfen, I can help you. Er soll nach Hause gehen, he should go home. Ich mag den Kartoffelbrei nicht essen. Nicht is a negation and it means not. So I don't like to eat the mashed potato. Again, mag comes from the modal verb mögen. It's conjugated here. Essen is not conjugated. Ich will Ball spielen. I want to play ball. Ich möchte dir etwas zeigen. Here I have möchte. And again, that's debatable if this is a model verb or not, but most people use that one uh, many times. Uh, for example, if you go to a restaurant and you want to say, I would like to order something, then you would say, ich möchte etwas bestellen. Now, I mentioned before that usually you use modal verbs in combination with another verb. You don't have to. If something is pretty obvious and you know what you're talking about, then sometimes you can skip that. So, for example, if I'm in a restaurant and I say, uh, ich möchte ein Bier, then uh, the person, the waiter or waitress knows that you want to order a beer. You don't have to say order in German. You could. You could say, Ich möchte ein Bier bestellen. And now you would have your infinitive verb bestellen after your modal verb möchte, but you don't have to. You can skip it in this case. And then the last sentence, wir dürfen einen Kuchen backen. We are allowed to bake a cake.